welcome to another great week on the Jet Set. This week we're taking you to the Puget Sound to explore Whidbey and Camano Islands. That's right, and I even beat Nikki at a sport. <laughs> he actually did. <laughs> I'm still convinced you cheated. No. <laughs> but stay tuned to find out. It's all coming up right here on the Jet Set. Welcome aboard. Are you ready to go? Bobby Laurie and Nikki Noya have your ticket to travel, food, fitness, and everything you need for an on-the-go lifestyle. It's time to Jet Set. You guys are in for a real treat today because we're sharing an incredibly special place with you this week. We're heading north to Washington to visit Whidbey and Camano Islands. The ocean air and relaxed pace of the island really left me feeling refreshed. How, did you feel the same? I loved every second of this. It was so beautiful there. Whidbey and Camano Islands is home to eight state parks ranging from popular Deception Pass State Park to lesser known parks like Possession Point and Fort E.B. State Parks. It was really pretty. It was amazing. The drive getting to Whidbey Island was just beautiful. It was beautiful and Deception Pass looking out from both ends. It was absolutely incredible. Now, not, not just those state parks, there's also more county, city, and even private parks, just like the Sculpture Forest that we visited, which is open to the public and is amazing. And it's run through donations. It was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And some of those, you're gonna see it in a few minutes, some yeah. of those sculptures you really had to look for. It was, I, that was really cool. And it's <laughs> like know. all the art was part of nature yeah, and vice versa. It was, it was absolutely amazing. Okay, now our trip started on Camano Island, which is laid back and friendly, and it's known for zip lining, axe throwing, Dungeness Crab, a prolific arts community that Nikki was just talking about, and natural beauty. There's abundant lodging as well, some at the water's edge for beach walking or whale watching. We did a little bit of that too. And all of that can be done right from the shore, much like the Camano Island Inn. Known as the Easy Island, Camano offers both a physical and mental makeover from the mainland to an island mindset. Choosing an inn overlooking the waters of the Puget Sound is a perfect splurge during a visit to the island. Camano Island Inn offers a perfect blend of contemporary comfort with a slower pace of life. The private patios or spacious deck offers the perfect place to relax and enjoy a glass of your favorite local wine and take in the views of the Saratoga Passage. If you look carefully, you'll spot all sorts of marine wildlife, but one thing you're sure to see is a spectacular sunset. Bobby, so beautiful. What an amazing place to stay. If you're planning a trip to Camano, definitely check out the Camano Island Inn and soak in that yes. spectacular view. It was view. so nice sitting up there on that deck, looking at that sunset. It was have, beautiful there. Having a glass of wine, watching the clouds, I I've, watching all the animals right in front of you. It was <laughs> wonderful. All right, well, now that we had a good night's rest, I had plans for us to do something that we had never done before. So we headed over to Arrowhead Ranch. Hey guys. Hey there. Hey Scott. Hey Thank you Scott. so much for yeah. having us at Arrowhead Ranch. Welcome to Camano Island. Thank you. It's been beautiful since we've been here. Good. No. Good. All right. It's time to throw some <laughs> axes. That's right. This is so awesome. That's right. Welcome. We're Are you ready, Lori? I'm ready. I've okay. never done it before. I've never done it either. I feel like her height might be an advantage. Okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's, All right, let's do it. Oh, oh, who's hi, this? <laughs> After a quick safety briefing, it was time to head in and start throwing some axes. I was feeling cool and confident as I entered, but as it turns out, axe throwing is not as easy as you might think, and it's not like hitting a volleyball. But I'm not one to give up easily, and after a few throws, it was time to start the competition. And while Nikki may be the former athlete between the two of us, there is no substitute for raw talent, which when it comes to axe throwing, apparently I have. Yeah, she did. Landslide. 30 to 1. She no, is the most competitive it. person I know. Yeah. And this is just hey, listen, like... Okay, I've never done this before. Me and, either. Wait, this is the first time Yeah, of course you? it is. Man. So I'll, I'll call you. Yeah, please. We have league. You know, that was yeah. so fun. Mm, I'm still 
still not convinced he didn't cheat, <laughs> but even so, I had so much fun. And what we didn't tell you is that the axe throwing wasn't just a friendly competition, but it was to determine which one of us got to go on to the next adventure. Mona, thank you so much for having me here at Christopherson Farms. My pleasure. Tell me a little bit about its history. Well, it's been in our family for five generations and uh, it's been a, an agricultural enterprise and a timber operation for over a hundred years. And uh, I'm part of the fourth generation managing and uh, we're really excited to continue our traditions of agriculture and forestry and add some fun things as well. Like yeah, so what lining. can we find here? <laughs> so we started a zip line tour about 10 years ago. Okay. And it's really cool because you go through the forest in a fun, adventurous way uh -huh. and you learn a little bit about what's going on there at the same time. And you also have lavender fields here, I, I understand. I've heard yeah. a lot about lavender. Yeah, so we're a certified organic farm okay. and we grow um, lavender for scent and we also grow it for culinary uses. All right, now what can <clears throat> someone expect when they go on a canopy tour with you? Well, a little bit of uh, pushing outside the box of your comfort <laughs> okay. level, um, but we have, uh, we have certified guides that are just awesome. Our guides really make the tour and they make people feel super comfortable because they take care of all of the details. All right, well, I'm looking forward to my canopy tour. Thank you so Sweet. much. Yeah, my pleasure. And what an adventure it was. Gliding through the forest was an awesome experience and one that was made even sweeter after having beat Nikki at axe throwing. Bobby, I am still <laughs> totally shocked by how you, okay, first of all, you beat me, but you got two bullseyes. I know. I, how did you Actually, do that? three, one in my practice run, just saying. <laughs> I'm good with the target, what can I say? That was really fun. <laughs> well, we've got to take a quick break, but we've got lots more from our amazing trip to Whidbey and Camino Island coming up in just a minute. I Remember, found a sport I'm good at. He's like, Nikki, it's not a volleyball. <laughs> <laughs>